what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a new plugin for Sketch called Sketch Constraints. Now, Sketch Constraints allows you to set all sorts of layout constraints onto your layers, so that way when you create a new artboard with the same elements in them, you can hit a single key, Command L, and have your whole layout sort of refresh and refit the layout, making adaptive design really easy. So let's get going on that right now. So sketch constraints you can grab from sketch toolbox, which is really just the easiest way to install any plugins. If you haven't heard me say that a thousand times, and we can just uh, find that just by typing in constraints, you can find sketch constraints right here. Click the install button, then go ahead and reopen your sketch app and we'll be ready to go using sketch constraints. So here we have an artboard, right? And now this is really nothing fancy. It's not going for any design awards or anything like that, but we basically just have this layout and we have a button down here. We have some hello text and we have this header and we have just a standard gray background. All of these colors actually come from Sketch's default colors. Let's actually say that we've decided that we want to make a new version of this layout that's just a little bit bigger, right? It's a little bit larger overall, made to accommodate a different sort of tablet portrait size. So what we do is maybe we right click on, so maybe we click on this artboard and click Command D to duplicate it. Then from there, we can drag this artboard or we can type in the dimensions for it to be exactly how we want it. But now you'll notice we're stuck with the problem. We have to come in here, we have to resize this or type in the numbers here to match. To resize this to type in the numbers. We have to recenter all the elements and uh, reposition them. And in some cases we'll need to resize them. And this is just sort of an unnecessary step. It takes a little too long and it's just tedious. Well, that's where this plugin really comes in handy because what you can do is set constraints or rules. Uh, I'm going to delete these layers. I'm just deleting this entirely. What you can do is set constraints and rules to your layout here and individual items based on their layout name. So uh, we have this rectangle here. I'm going to change this to header. Uh, we have this hello word. I'm going to change this to heading. Okay. So we now have uh, several different layers in here and we all have sort of ideas about what we'd like them to do. So now that we have constraints installed, let's go ahead and start setting some constraints. So a easy constraint essentially would be that we want this hello text to always be the same distance from the top of the application and we want it to always be in the center. So with this layer selected, we can hit command E. This brings up a menu. Now what's great about this is since we always want this to be the same distance from the top of the artboard, which is 252 pixels, so we could type 252 in here for the Y position or we could click this drop down and select 252. So the drop down is going to have its current value in there. So we don't have to go fishing for that if you don't know it offhand. So now this is going to remain 252 to uh, away from the top of the layout, no matter how large our layout is. In addition, we want this to align horizontally. So we always want it to stay in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and click okay. Now let's go ahead and once more select this entire tablet portrait. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna click and resize this, make it nice and big. Now I'm gonna do command L and you'll notice this hello jumped to the middle. So it stayed the distance away from the top, but it jumped to the middle. So what this command L does, tells your layers inside of your artboard to sort of, hey, get in line with these constraints. So let's go ahead and delete that once more. Let's add some more constraints and really see this come together. So I'm gonna delete the layers. Okay, let's add some constraints to the header and app name. I'm gonna group these together and it's just going to be header now add some constraints. We're going to want this to remain zero from the right and zero from the left. It's gonna take up the entire width. We're also going to wanna to just keep this exactly where it is other than that. So we want it to stay zero from the top, 
zero from the left and zero from the right. Okay, in addition, we want this background. Let's add constraints. Let's add constraints to the background. Command E, and we can just say, and if we want, we can just say zero all the way around. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's see now that we have a couple more, let's redo this. Duplicate, let's go ahead and change the layout. Let's do Command L. And you can see uh, our app name is now filling up the entire width. The hello is in the center and we are looking pretty good. Now there was a little bit of a difference here. You'll notice that this app name right here is now uh, is now 51 pixels away from the left, where before here it was 36. That's because it's trying to make this sort of distribute as this gets wider. And that's certainly no problem. If you have a wider screen, that distance can certainly be changed. However, let's go ahead and try to keep this the same. So let's delete the layers once more. I'm gonna come into this header folder. I'm going to add another constraint by command E. Command E, I'm going to say, make sure that you are 36 from the left and 31 from the top. Okay. And for the last one, let's come into this large button here. We want to first make sure that this click here, constraints, uh, this is the text of click here. We want this to align horizontally. That's the only thing I'm going to add here. Now the button itself, Command E, Let's actually say we want this button to grow with the application. So we can say we want you to be 80 from the edges at all times. So this button uh, should now stay aligned horizontally, but it should always stay this far from the uh, left and right. And we can pin it to the bottom too uh, by just saying 84 here. Okay, so we now have our whole layout. It's set to these constraints. We can duplicate, we can make another artboard here, we can increase the size, running Command L once more. You can see we now have a scaled up version of this layout. And it works again if we want to do this once more. You can see based on the rules we set, it's scaling this up appropriately. So this is a great way to make a layouts that are going to adapt to your width and uh, adjust accordingly based on the rules that you're setting. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.